Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian. It's the 2nd of November, 2022. Uh, and in this quick video, we're going to cover uh, how to really quickly create a curated uh, directory that you can use to uh, you know, build an authority site. You can use this to sell affiliate products. You can use this to, uh, you know, build your brand or web consultancy uh, simply by reaching out to folks in your ideal audience or your, uh, you know, your your niche of interest, and simply use something like this as a way of establishing yourself as an authority or an expert uh, in whatever it is that you're doing. So uh, this is an alternative to using WordPress uh, for. Uh, your directories and a bunch of folks in our uh, little, uh, you know, private course community have asked to see a demo of how to do this uh, using this other alternative software. So I'm going to show you because it's really ideal for anybody who is building uh, micro directories or these mini uh, sort of uh, kind of niche authority sites that you can do literally a couple of these a day and you can sell them. Again, you can use them to build up your appearance of authority or expertise to sell services and all these things we're going to cover in some of the uh, other videos that come or that come next. But in this particular example, I'm just going to show you how it's actually done. So as you can see, this is actually a real a directory for one of our uh, spiritual uh, niches. I'm agnostic about psychic mediums. I always say this when I use this as an example, but this is a very popular uh, community that we have with uh, lots of content on near-death experiences, uh, out-of-body experiences, psychics, mediums, you know, apparitions, all that sort of thing. And because it's Halloween, this is the uh, example, or it was Halloween a day or two ago that I'm using. All right, so all, all we want to do here is create a collection of books that are popular uh, in our, you know, our niche or with our audience, and then use this directory to recruit folks who are writing or teaching or, you know, kind of working in these spaces and asking asking them if they want their book included uh, in our collection. And then there's a service that I'm going to be selling behind this, but you know, I'm going to cover that in another video. So all we want to do here is go to Amazon. I'm just going to show you how to do this in a live way. This is actually a book written by a um, therapist that I found kind of interesting. Again, I'm sort of agnostic about all these topics, but I did find that particular uh, person somewhat interesting. Let's find another book that looks worth including. Let's see. I don't know that any of these look really interesting to me. This is actually the dude who wrote the book that I just referenced, William Peters. Let's just use this one here. I'm going to say, what? Well, nope, it's not what I wanted. Let's dump out of that. Let's go back. We're going to save this image. I think it was called Carriage to Care. We're going to take this link. This is the book on Amazon. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to our resources. I'm going to add a resource, add a URL. And again, you could do something like this on WordPress. Really, really easy. I don't know what went wrong there, but I think it should be okay. All right, now I obviously have no idea what this book is about, but for simplicity's sake, and usually I would include things that I know about, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna make up a little, you know, sort of based on the little blurb that I read, what I think it's about, and then I'll fix this later. But then the next step is we want to uh, manage resources. It's here. We're gonna edit this. I'm gonna go back to that 
image that I just had, which is here. Disable the opt-in form, because certainly I don't need anyone to opt in for this. And of course, I could change all this up. And let's publish. Here's the URL. This is the featured book, which again is another opportunity to sell a featured sort of thing. There's uh, there's all these filters so that you can, you know, have featured listings, so to speak, using this, or uh, you know, you could have you know people's profiles and books and courses. I mean, all this you can do really really quickly. Let's find that book that I just added, and it's right here. All right, so. You can see like on a small screen, I'm using a really large screen here, but on a small screen, it looks good. I mean, these are all, you know, and if I write in carriage, you can see it's, you know, really instant search. So it's this directory has really great filters. If I add in Tyler, this is the medium Tyler Henry. And again, I say medium in quotes because I don't know that I believe in mediums, but there you have it, right? So you can just continue to add these as you see fit. And for me, the real beauty of this approach is you can outsource this. So I can simply have someone work on this and collect 20, 30, 40 uh, resources like this in a day, add them to the, add them to the directory, and you have a little asset that you can uh, leverage in the service of either making yourself look authoritative, selling a service to other folks. Uh, this is obviously ideal for those of you who are building local communities, local directories, local marketplaces, uh, you know, local resource collections, etc. And there are some other cool ways of really augmenting and improving this approach. And we'll be covering those uh, in our course community over the, the month of no November. If you're interested in joining us, I'll have a link to that below or send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com. We'd be very